Remember that uh, very first SBO qualifiers here in the United States, there was a Super Turbo Tournament three-man team. There was three tournaments that were held at Camelot Golf Land. I entered all three of them. I lost the same guy like all three tournaments. Really? Yeah, I was not happy. That's brutal. It's not happy. Did that guy at least win? Uh, yes, he made it. He made it in the last tournament. Okay, okay. Because if you so. lost to him and he didn't win, that would be like the worst <laughs> thing on the planet. Shoutouts to Mr. Chris Lee, <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> who is now actually the enforcer on the Evo stage. You know, the big guy oh, who yeah. runs down everybody. Yeah, that, that's him. Well, he was running you down back in ST. Yeah, huh? exactly. Okay. Makes sense. Yep. So I've, what well, haven't been knocked off the actual stage yet, but no, the virtual yet. stage for sure, for sure. Donzo, huh? <laughs> It'll happen. Yeah, I mean, it'll be painful if one of these players here, like, loses to the same guy all four tournaments, you know? And it's such a big bracket. Like, if that happens, it's like, dude, how <laughs> did I end up playing this guy again? Be, I mean, do you know how the brackets are set up? Is it just kind of randomly generated have, for yeah, these last years? I have last no years? idea. That's I would really imagine so. I mean, it seems like that would be the fairest way to do, do it in this kind of situation. I think you're right, yeah. Man, I'm uh, watching Kim Wu right now. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm this character play is serious. Kimu right now. There is a really good shot uh, right in front <laughs> of us, or at least that we can see right at the angle of T Swag playing Kim Wu. He's pretty familiar with this character. He has some cool stuff that he's already showing off. Uh, mostly, whip punishing with Dragon Kick is so incredibly fast that pretty much anything you do just gets beefed and it just gets blown up. Like I just saw Glacius <laughs> try to do uh, Shatter, right? And then just immediate dragon kick across the stage, and it's like, okay, well, times are tough. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say this right now. I did not know there was so much Killer Instinct clothing. There's a crazy amount. Because <laughs> everybody I've seen come up the stream got combo breaker shirts. I got that Cinder shirt, and hoodies, and all sorts of stuff. Well, thanks to Rick, the greatest of all time, mm -hmm. combo breaker shirts. Kind of count as Killer Instinct shirts. <laughs> oh, okay, that makes you sense. You can wear their combo breaker like event shirts, and you're like, yeah, this is basically a KI shirt. <laughs> <It's> basically <laughs> what it is. That's cool though that he named his event after a Killer Instinct thing. That is, yeah. I mean, it's an awesome name for an event too. Check it out. It's gonna be in May this year. Just like last year, I think it's like 25th to the 27th or something crazy like that. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be on the holiday weekend. Yep. Uh, Memorial Day, I believe it is. Memorial Day weekend. Definitely check that out. <laughs> Should be an awesome event. I'll be there for sure. I mean, definitely just keep track of everything that's going on. I mean, the, the fighting game community just it keeps growing and bigger and bigger. And, you know, that's one of the things that I love about what this KI community has done. You know, I was even having a conversation with someone on Twitter. I was like, you know what? You should always do these kind of change reveals on a stream and in front of a live audience. And someone actually responded to me and very truthfully is like, that might not work with other communities because the KI community seems to be very well in, you know, the, the developer interaction with the community is so well in brain. It's, it's very tight knit, yeah. Yeah. And the, seriously, the, for the past two years, of course, only on Xbox One coming out on PC very soon. The Killer Instinct community has done a great job keeping the momentum of this game continuing, you know, to get up to this PC point, uh, the, the PC port. And I've talked to a lot of people, and they said that, you know, once it comes out on PC, they've never been able to really play it because, yep. you know, it was on Xbox One, a lot of people didn't own the consoles. James, and you don't understand my life. <laughs> Every single event I've ever been to in my life. Hey, man, how's Killer Instinct? It looks real fun. Maybe I'll check it out on PC. That's, that's all I hear. Every single event yeah. I've ever been to in my life. So, And it's really kind of interesting, too, though. I actually feel like that, in a weird way, it might have worked out because, you know, the way that the game is advanced between Season 1 and Season 2 and now Season 3, I feel like people are going to get in at a really good time. I think you're right about that. Those changes were awesome. Yeah, and here's a character that people really wanted to see a lot of nerfs to. <laughs> yeah, Conra, our lord and savior. Yep. Fighting against Glacius, these are pretty similar archetype characters. Yeah, uh, yeah. they kind of do the defensive same. Defensive characters. Yeah, they, they have these traps and setups, and that's kind of what they do. But they're bullies. These guys are jerks. <laughs> well, you heard what Keith said is that he actually felt like that at, by, by season two. The two characters were a little too similar for his taste. Yeah. So we really wanted to switch them up a little bit. All right, build some sand there. And now. Oh, when he oh, gets locked out, it's going to be big damage. A very reactable lockout, too, so he's going to be able to extend the combo, get the 
get the proper payout, level 3 payout there. Now just setting up the zoning now, <laughs> pulling him a little closer every time. Yeah, and Glacius is, is so tall that certain setups that Conrad has actually don't work against him because of his height. Mm, right. uh, but he also has to always block Scarab. It's really hard for him not to. Okay, catches him. Oh, he doesn't complete the combo there. I just don't think he expected it to hit. Oh, when he chases him down, Robo Snowcone, uh, who's a really good Glacius player. Definitely looks good so far. This matchup is a lot of some Glacius players will actually think that it is 5 5. It's even for Glacius. Okay. okay. Which is uh, interesting because a lot of people, you wouldn't expect that, right? You would think that Conrad would be able to zone him. But yeah, if you can snipe him uh, with that, that Shadow Day, it's really good. One thing that I would imagine makes us fight a little. Oh, nice. Just expecting the combo went for the reset, but didn't get the combo afterwards. Right. Oh, and he got him. He got him. Oh. So how much, he's going to be able to get a ton of damage off of this. Look at that. Probably put him in danger here. Yeah, right in the danger. Oh, he shouldn't have jumped there. Maybe a throw, I think, would have been the better option. Yeah, Robo Snow Clone's going to close it out over Zero Mancer. But, yeah, in that situation, uh, Conrad could have back thrown into the corner. That would have been the, the proper punish. Or, or maybe even, like, Shadow Whoa. Command throw or something. This guy. This the the one punch man has showed up here. Is that who he is? I think that's what should have committed to be. all the way. And I know. We're, he's got hair. The hair man. You can't have the hair. Everybody <laughs> knows that. They gotta swap uh, haircuts here. These two guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Gotta figure this out. Go the new gutter magic route. I know gutter is all cleaned up. Dude, I ran into him at the airport, and he's like, James Chen, and I looked at him, and I was like. I, I walked up and was like, I, I, I don't know your name. I'm yeah. Sorry. Like, better, I was like, whoa, wait, what happened? He looks, yeah, he looks a lot different. Nice and clean. He has a freaking emote on his stream channel, which is just his beard and his yeah. mustache. <laughs> that is for sure. I'm sure somebody who is subscribed to Gutter in the chat will post it. It's good. It's now a good they, emote. Now they need to change the emote just to blank space. Just yeah. Just to put a white block there now to represent the new shaved look. Nice escape from the shatter. As we said, that's been the problem for a lot of players so far, but good job for Zero Mancer to avoid it. Yeah, he's all over it. Oh, he gets through. That is projectile invincible, and it's also just really fast. If you hit a button, you'll probably get caught. Yeah, he was able to really take advantage of that lockout. And you see that? That hail there is such a threat the whole time. And there's <laughs> that shoulder just spaced, and that's going to be punished. He's going to get to waste the whole instinct here and build himself some meter, uh, his Robo Snow Cone. Yeah, check that out. No more instinct there for Conroy. He's probably going to be able to jump out of the corner with it at least. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't. Whoa, that shadow counter wow. was ridiculous. <laughs> On that jumping medium kick there. And yeah, that, lock him down. That, oh. that is not shadow counterable. You can't shadow counter that because of the hail. The hail mm, there saves okay. you all, oh, and these resets are brutal. Okay, you got him. Oh, Try to get a little cute there. Threw him back into the corner. Opportunity, but nice escape right out of there. With shoulder charge. It's so slippery with uh, Liquid Eyes there. And a back throw again. And if he snipes him with anything here, it's going to be enough. That's open or ender. Okay, it didn't combo. But it would have been open or ender anyway. And he would have been able to break that. Yeah. Just needs Chip. Just needs Chip. He's knocking on the door there, jabbing him. Okay, tries to get in with shoulder. Good read on that jump back by Zero Mancer. But it's a long road here. You really need a lot. And nah, somehow I just don't think that uh, Zero Oh, and he got oh. the stage ultra. This man about to flex. <laughs> what is that boast from Glacius? And then the armor just falls off. Why not? Hey, do you do you think maybe that whole entire time that Wrecking Ball was rash? I mean, <laughs> do you think they always knew deep in their hearts? <laughs> maybe man. that was him secretly. Oh, look at this. He's like losing the commitment. Now the gloves are off. The gloves are, no, things are getting serious. You have to understand. <laughs> things are getting serious. Gloves have come off. It's time. Time we're going in. Oh, and the cape billows as he walks away. You see that? I like that. I it's like too that. serious. It's too serious. Ooh. You see the readjustment of the glasses there? He's going in. All right, let's see if Zero Mancer can come up with anything. Yeah, he seemed to have trouble here. There's Fierce Auto Doubles, and they do get broken. Yeah, it's interesting because both of these characters are kind of zoning characters, but Robo Snowcorn has actually been able to stay in and keep this pressure going. The whole time, yeah, he's had pressure all the way through. Is it going to be a reversal here at all? Oh, you see a pumping? You see the churning there? That was definitely a reversal. <laughs> and a very reactable lockout here, so he's going to be able to cash out pretty well. Yeah, it is one of the ones where you can just see it. You're like, okay, I got lots of time here. Yep. Sometimes you're already in the middle of doing the ender when you see the lockout. It's too late. That is the worst for sure, yeah. Okay, gets him with the cross up right. And he has sand there. He can recapture. There it is. All right. And yeah, and those certain heights, you know, usually they cover the, the space above the characters' heads. But yeah. as you said, Glacy is kind of tall. 
He's gonna get clipped. Yeah, a lot of times it just catches him. Oh, is he gonna punish it? Yes! Yeah, punish on the landing frames there. He's gonna get a big combo here and a wall bounce. That, that was a reactable walkout. And sweep, yeah. <clears throat> oh, and instinct. Oh, hail and armor in the corner. Oh, okay, smart stuff. Going for the throw. Yeah, like I mentioned, that is the best option there as uh, as Conrad, right? Try back throw there against Blazius. Armor is back. And that's one problem I would have imagined in this match. A lot of characters can jump and hit the swarm, but Blazius' jump is so floaty. And not only that, but his normals stick out really far, right? And they can get him clipped. This is a ridiculous amount of damage. It's so much. <laughs> Yeah, and you see shouldn't it, yeah, be just, doing this much damage. You know, James, <laughs> maybe in other games, but in Killer Instinct, we all do damage. <laughs> That's just the way things go. Okay, all chases right. him down with that well, jump like this. Snow Cone's done a good job getting close. Oh, uses that the sacrifice to get himself out of there. Yeah, Sand Explosion just to get out. And he's got to try to get rid of that, that scare of just hanging out above his head. Oh, man, that's, that's a tough feel for Glacius to get oh, through. And again, yeah. yeah. You know, he's gone to that quite a few times now, just jump fierce into the immediate uh, command. But I think Robo Snow Gone should maybe keep his eyes peeled for that one. Conroe's eyes are gross. <laughs> I don't know what's <laughs> happening there. Oh, he's back. He's the like, gloves are back on. Oh, nice. Dude, he's a mummy. Come on. I would expect his he's eyes to be He's not a mummy, James. All right, fine. I'm not a mummy. Yeah, not but he's a, a mummy. mummy. Come on, guys. We all know he's a mummy. Even if Keats were here, he would maybe he could uh, admit it now. He's a mummy. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Well, nice uh, adjustments from Zero Mancer. Takes his first game. We've seen a couple of 3-0s up here where it just seems like some players just haven't been able to, you know, figure out what's going on. Oh, you see the churning again? Yeah, that was that was uppercut for sure. You can see it coming out. Oh, and finally catches him there. Oh, and gets a very reactable lockout. Big damage. Oh. And there's the setup there. Oh, when he baited Sacrifice, he could have punished. I think he tried Fierce Shatter there, just got auto-corrected into Fierce. I think that, that, that's probably what he tried. Yeah, yeah, you can see Robo Snowcon says, you know what, I don't really need to do much here. I'm willing just to chill here. You're not going to do much cha da chip damage to me. Yeah. The man's pumping. You see the pump, and he's going <laughs> trying to come through. got it out. Oh, reset into that. And again a reset, and that's going to be enough. Robo Snow Cone, big lead here. Doing a little shimmy there, the Glacius shimmy. Who's got to be wary of that whenever Glacius gets you in that combo, you know? It's, it's always a threat, yeah. you you got to watch out for his resets. He probably has some of the best mid-combo resets there. Oh, the taunt comes out. All right, all right. That's going to be a punish. It's like I said, there's really nothing that's, that's going to really pressure Robo Snow Cone from wanting to go in at this point. Yep, and, but that is the danger of Conrad, is that his offense is so incredibly good uh, at just approaching like that whenever he has sand. Unfortunately dropped that combo. So now back to this again. And you know, those sand spikes just don't do a lot of chip. They really don't, yeah. And, and you know, you could just hang out there if you're Robo Snow Cone, take the meter build, not worry about the damage. All you have to do is watch for Zero Master jumping in. Uh, yeah. That's the big threat. Oh, we tried to shadow counter the air scripts there. Oh, but he's going to get the damage from full screen. Yeah, that's pretty good damage, actually, there. And it's just adding up at this point. Robo Snow Cone has more than a full life bar's lead. Yeah, it's really interesting because he is staying away, and, you know, Zero Mancer, I don't feel like, has really been looking for a way to get in. Oh, that should be enough. Yeah, that's going to be enough. Robo Snow Cone should take it 3 to 1 over Zero Mancer. Good showing to him. Yeah. Can enter the other uh, qualifiers, but uh, Robo Snow Cone's going to move on. And we have to be getting deep into these last chance yeah. qualifiers now. But see, this is what I mean. I, I just felt like, you know, Z Zero Mancer, he was so down in life, but he still kept playing this game where he just kept jumping away and poking from far, trying to just chip and try to get uh, Robo Snow Cone to attack him. But yeah. Robo Snow Cone wouldn't buy it, and I felt like that Zero Mancer needed to really try to get in there and do something, and he just wasn't at the end. And 